Amid reports that members of the National Assembly have started to take delivery of the luxury sports utility vehicles, SUVs, estimated to cost 57.6 billion naira, opposition to the decision continues to reverberate across the country. It would be recalled that when the news emerged that the sum of 57.6 billion naira had been voted to purchase SUVs for members of the 10th National Assembly, many members of the public condemned the move, saying that it showed that the National Assembly was insensitive to the sufferings of Nigerians. Citing the mass poverty that had afflicted the public following the removal of fuel subsidy, collapse of the Naira, and a huge national debt that put together had impoverished the majority of Nigerians. The National Assembly had been cancelled to shelve the purchase of luxury SUVs for its members. But defending the purchase during an interview on the Politics Today program of Channels Television with Shem Okimbaluyi, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Services, Senator Victor Karimi, said that they needed the SUVs for their oversight functions and hinged the preference for a foreign brand on the poor state of Nigerian roads. We need these vehicles for oversight. We use these vehicles to, to, to travel all over our constituencies. Karibi's explanation completely ignored the benefits of patronizing local brands, such as reduced outflow of foreign exchange, strengthening the Naira, and creation of jobs. Besides, for Senator Karimi to hinge procurement of foreign brands on bad roads after 24 unbroken years of democratic rule will be seen by many as an own goal an indictment of the National Assembly that it could not get the executive branch to fix the roads despite the humongous sums voted to upgrade the country's road infrastructure during this period. If I travel to my constituency with a car now, by the time I go three, four times, you know Nigerian roads. And if you look at Nigerian roads all over the Federation, that we have a serious problem because nothing much has been done in the last few years. Most of our roads, they are terribly bad. To some members of the public, if the legislators were patriotic enough, they could have opted for the purchase of less expensive local brands. That way, funds could have been released for other more pressing needs, such as tertiary education and sustainable people empowerment rather than short-term palliative measures that hardly scratch the surface of the debilitating poverty being faced by the people. And you, as a, a local manufacturing plant developer, we, 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 we may choose to patronize them. You will tell us to buy spaghetti made in Nigeria. You will tell the poor people to eat salt made in Nigeria. You will tell the poor people to use cement made in Nigeria. And you will use everything that is made abroad. Point of fact, at least let's patronize what we have. We are complaining about dollars. Everybody knows what the, the reason why this dollar is, is going up all the time. Because why? We, 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 we import more than what we export. Do you understand? We import more than what we export. How can you go and buy a vehicle outside Nigeria when, when, when we have it here in this country? Patronizing uh, car companies outside <coughs> is of no use. It, it, it makes us to spend more. And uh, Nigeria will need something that can benefit the common man. Most especially, we have other companies that produce car in Nigeria. If Nigeria want to progress, I don't, I don't see the reason why we will travel out to go and patronize outside company where we have innocent company and more, more other company that can produce car in this country. But because we feel Maybe they, they condemn and they feel the, 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 the one in Nigeria will not serve them better. But though that place they are running to, if we can fortify our own industry, if we can fortify our own factory here in Nigeria, we can even do better than what they are bringing to us. We have a car company that is supposed to patronize our own so that the country, the, the, uh, we improve. 
we need to at least we need to promote our own. Made in Nigeria is a, is a, is a proud to Nigeria. In Abuja, residents of the Federal Capital Territory who spoke with the True Vision Online TV crew were unanimous in carpeting the legislators as selfish public officers who are disconnected from their constituents. It's, it's, it's outrageous, to be sincere with you. Honestly, because this if it's 6 billion would have gone far, at least go a long way to create industries, to create factories where people can be work, at least can work. Now, if you take a look at things now, you discover that uh, so many people have lost their job. This money should be diverted to some other things. They are well paid, their salaries should be enough for them to cater for all these things. Nigeria has so many things, so many challenges on ground. Look at the educational system. Look at the, the price of food in the market. Look at the in fact they should be thinking of how to help the poor citizens of this country to, 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 to be able to assist them in how they can survive. That is what we're talking about. How can this country move forward? That is the reason why we voted them there. That is the reason why we, we elected them there. Not talking about buying SUV. SUV is not our problem. I want to advise Nigerians, do not vote any of the National Assembly members to return in 2027 because they don't have any love for humanity. They don't love Nigeria. They are just there for their selfish interest. They, are, they have a poverty mentality, if I have to say that. They are just there for their own selfish interest. That is why a senator, considering the situation of the country and what is happening, the increase in the fuel, everything is on the high side and they are not even planning for the betterment of the poor masses. Rather, they are, they are planning to buy a very exotic car that they can drive around. That is to tell you that they don't have the people that voted them in mind. National Assemblies are there for us. We vote them, they are our representative. So we cannot just look uh, over things that is going wrong that we keep quiet. We will say our own, even though they did not hear us. We must say our own. For me, it's wrong. If that money is diverted to education level, it will make a lot of things. That is not what they're supposed to do. They will first of all see the masses, how they are passing so many difficulties. Even people in a rural area, they cannot eat. So I feel they have to represent their people well, not uh, going for pressure or something. Look at our roads. Insecurity everywhere. What are they doing to help the people who vote them the in the, the after their own post, which is wrong? We are talking of cars. We are not talking of the the the, the economic economic uh, ref, reform reformation. How we can be able to to make our our daily end. Now, if you watch out now, you see that dollar is about one thousand one thousand four hundred naira or less. Which we common men cannot even generate such amount to exchange that amount of money. Given the debilitating poverty ravishing the people, with no assurance that their plight will be ameliorated any soon, the SUV saga is one debate that is not likely to go away very soon, particularly as the people are called upon to make more sacrifices. Meglina Otu for True Vision Online Television.